Greenlee, hey. Listen, call me as soon as you and Jack land in Rio. All right? Look, I, I hope you guys have a lot of luck finding this Jane. I love you a lot. So be safe. That long drive wasn't the best thing for my standpoint. The sooner we start your treatment, the better. This is nothing like the room you had me in last time. You make it sound like you were held prisoner. Was I? You were my patient, Greenlee. I saved your life. I wasn't the only one. So, is Leo here? If you think this is some kind of game for me, you're dead wrong. You promised me if I came here with you, you'd tell me he was in that room with me. I also promised that I would take care of you. And I intend to keep my word on both counts. But I'm also still recovering from Erica's attack, which means I don't have a lot of energy right now. And since you took the time to convey to me the seriousness of your symptoms, I am choosing to alleviate them first. Now I need to draw some blood. So why don't you hop up on the table and let's get started. Is it cold in here? I can assure you, you have nothing to be afraid of. Except you. Do you have any idea how close you were to death's door when I brought you back? And Ryan thinks that I did it just to control you. <laughs> what a joke. Yeah, if that was true, how'd that work out for me? Hmm? You did end up with him, right? I won't apologize for that. Well, maybe you should. I've accepted that I won't have you. But the fact that you're even around at all to be with someone else is a miracle that belongs to me. And me alone. You can't honestly expect me to trust you. That's exactly what I expect. So if I'm going to do this, I want to make sure that we're very clear right now. I want to know that you are here right now by your own choice. I am. And? And? I'm putting my life in your hands. You know, you're bleeding. Maybe we shouldn't do this. No. I'm fine. You're the one I'm worried about right now. I'm not gonna lose you, Greenlee. That life that's coursing through your veins right now, I gave it to you. David. And I'm not gonna let anyone take it away. I'm gonna take a look at these. Hopefully it'll give us some answers. I want some answers too. I came here with you. I didn't tell Ryan. All right, look, are we back on the control thing again? It's up to me whether or not you live or die. How much more control could I want? Is that why you saved Leo and you kept him here? To control him? I never said my brother was alive. You never said he wasn't. So where is he? Is he in another room here? Or is this just a game? Why don't you tell me? Tell you what? When I got out of that car, after the long drive, I had pins and needles in my legs. You, you just hopped right on out without any problem whatsoever. You're not feeling any numbness, are you, Greenlee? So you tell me, who's playing games? This was Ryan's idea, wasn't it? Getting you to pretend that you needed my help so that I would help you, so that you can get closer to me? Spy on me, is that it? <laughs> Leave it to Lavery to get a woman to do his dirty work. I came here on my own. <laughs> of course you did. But you still pretend for him, don't you? Give him the impression that he still has a say on what you do. I wouldn't expect you to understand my relationship with Ryan, but we're equals. Oh, yeah, right. Believe me. I have spent many a sleepless night trying to figure out why you chose Ryan over me. And the only answer I can come up with 
times you're afraid. I'm not scared of you, Dave. No, not of me, of yourself. Afraid of what you could be. I could have given you the world, Greenlee. Anything you wanted. There's nothing I want from you. Oh, well, we both know that's not true. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here right now. There is something, no, I should say someone that you want. And you feel only I can give you. Get out of my way, David, or I swear to God, I'll hurt you. You already have. More than you will ever know. I gave you life. Do you have any idea how precious that is? Obviously, you don't. Otherwise, you wouldn't be throwing it away. Now, you are going to understand. Leo is dead. He's dead, and no one can change that. <laughs> no! No! David! No! Ah! Ah! Don't fight it, Greeley. I've always been the one who knows what you really need. And now, finally, you're going to thank me for what I'm giving you. I'm not sure what all this proves besides the already known fact that David Hayward is an evil maniac. Brian. Yeah, well, I was just thinking of how happy I am that Greenlee's thousands of miles away from Pine Valley right now before we take the next step. What's that? Finding out the truth from Hayward himself. <laughs>